The energy crisis in Palestine is dire, with their only power plant being bombed by Israel and the blockade making the delivery of fuel very difficult. Nor Harrison now reports on the situation there. Dozens of Palestinian residents protested Tuesday morning in front of Gaza's electricity company office calling on the Arab Gulf countries to intervene and send the fuel aid to the Gaza Strip. Nine years of siege by Israel have made this situation unbearable. Israel originally imposed the siege after Palestinian resistance groups imprisoned Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit in 2006. Even though Shalit was released four years ago, the illegal siege continues to bite hard on Gazans, especially after the Egyptian military destroyed 95% of the tunnels between the Gaza Strip and Egypt. The siege has caused many crises, one of the most serious being the current fuel shortage, tragically affecting all residents of the Gaza Strip. When there are no funds, the crisis occurs unless a donor party intervenes. The European Union intervened previously and Qatar has paid more than $100 million to ensure field supply to Gaza's sole power plant. Now we are mainly relying on bill payments. During the holy month of Ramadan, all the money collected was transferred to the finance ministry in Ramallah. Now there is no money sent, so there is no fuel to generate electricity. This summer, the residents of Gaza will be lucky if they get electricity four hours a day. During Israel's July-August war on the Gaza Strip, the Israeli war planes targeted Gaza's only power plant and it no longer functions. Jamal al-Dirdisawi, a Gazan power authority, said that the damages from the attack could take up to a year to get fixed completely. Both Israel and Egypt used to feed electricity to Gaza, but the supply is currently severely limited as a part of the Israeli-Egyptian blockade on the coastal enclave. Nuhar Zin, TV, Gaza.